I just bumped into a very good friend here, Sean Ogle of Breaking 80. Hit subscribe on his channel. I'm gonna leave the link down below. This guy does amazing work. He's my favorite golf reviewer yeah, that's not Let's Play Through. <laughs> that's quite the compliment. I feel that was very nice. No, right. totally, absolutely, you do a great job. So we're here at the PGA show. Sean and I have been scouring the show floor and Sean's gonna give us his top three best finds, unique finds here at the PGA show. So let's start us off with number one, Sean. Okay, so first thing I'm most excited about, I think probably is gonna be the Precision Pro Titan rangefinder. So I'm not sure if you're familiar with Precision Pro, but they launched a GPS rangefinder called the R1 a few years ago. It was innovative, it had some cool ideas, but it had some like serious flaws. Namely, it was USB-C charging. Mm -hmm. It only lasted for two rounds, if that. That doesn't work. And so if yeah. you're out on the course, you forget to charge it, there's no way to do it. So this one is still USB charging, but it can last up to 40 rounds. That's sweet. Um, you know, on that single USB charge. It could be a whole season for some people. Totally. And so they've built in a bunch of the GPS data and that. They took everything that they learned from the R1, built it into this. This is more of the build quality like their flagship NX10. Right. It's got some nice weight to it, dust and waterproof, which is pretty cool. And so of all the stuff I've seen from Precision Pro, I've reviewed all of their products. This seems like it's going to be the best rangefinder yet. They do a great job of just really pricing their products right too. The quality to value ratio is really great with them. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, what's number two on your list, Sean? So number two, this is actually something I haven't seen here, but they announced it today, and it's probably the thing that I'm most excited for, maybe, out of everything, and that's the Arcos Link Pro. So I don't know if you use Arcos. I've played over 300 rounds with Arcos in the last 10 years, and so what Link does is it makes it so you don't have to have your phone in your pocket. And what the Link Pro is going to do is basically it's going to make it more accurate. They've added a microphone, so you're not going to need your phone at all. Right. Uh, there's a button on it, so you can go hit the button when you walk up to the pin, and it will accurately track where the pin is so that all your putting data That's is correct, huge. all of your like approach data is that much more accurate. Right. And so this is something I've been waiting for for a while. I kind of had heard rumblings that it might exist. So the fact they finally announced it today, I'm I'm pretty excited about it. Now, will this uh, like back configure into if you have an existing Arco setup? Yeah, so you if you've got tags? an existing Arco setup, it will work with that. Nice. One of the things for me is I used to always wear an Apple Watch on the course. Right. And so the Arcos Apple Watch app is great and you could hit the, the button on your watch and right. you wouldn't need your phone. But I've recently switched over to Garmin. And so I've gone from the Apple ecosystem to the Garmin ecosystem. And so now I can still use Arcos in an easy way by having the link in my pocket and I don't need the Apple Watch I had to use. So I'm excited for that. Can I give you a request as a, as a fan of your channel? Yes. I'd love to see you use that Garmin watch and the Arcos at the same time and, and then take a look well, at it. Well, that's that what's funny is like people laugh at me because they're basically like, well, Garmin's got their own CT10 sensors. They've got all that shot tracking. Why wouldn't you just use that? And right. it's great. Like, honestly, like it's super solid, but Arcos just does it that much better. I mean, when it comes to the shot- ba The back end metrics are sexier for they sure. They are sexy. Yeah. Like Arcos has been doing it longer than anybody. I feel like they've really kind of got things down. So I just prefer that shot tracking system right. personally. Um, but then I wear my Garmin, you know, FX2, and that's what I use for my GPS distances. It's the best of both worlds because Garmin, like on course, has the best, right? Yes. It's got the virtual caddy, obviously. It's got all the elements and the wind and things yep. built into the slope. But the, like, like we said, Arcos on the back end just does such a great job with the stroke. They created strokes gained, basically. Totally. Um, I mean, didn't create the concept, but they created. They were the first ones interface. to really interface it right. with, uh, for the average. And just this this deep dive you can take on the stats is fantastic. Totally, that's a great pick. All right, little break in the action before we get to Sean's third pick. I want to let you know that we've got links down below to all the products we covered in this video at our partner PlayBetter.com. Not only do they have the best prices in the golf world, they've also got the best people in the golf business, always caring about the customer family owned business. They're just salt of the earth. All right, let's get back inside to the show and get Sean's third pick. So I'm excited for your third pick. What's that gonna be? So third pick for me is the FlightScope Mevo Plus limited edition. Nice. So I've reviewed a bunch of launch monitors just like you have. And one of my all time favorites continues to be the Mevo Plus. I feel like it hits that kind of sweet spot between portability, price, features, and there's no subscription. That's huge. So that sets it apart. Yeah. So what they're doing now is some people have complained about their a la carte pricing. So if you want to get the whole D-suite plane of features, if you want all the club data, if you want impact detection, 
you have to pay extra for the pro package and then there's an impact detection package on right. top of that. And some right. people are like, well, yeah. I don't want to pay all that extra money. Yeah. So with the limited edition, they redesigned the way it looks. They include the pro package and impact detection all in there. And there's a special E6 Connect package that includes 12 new courses, including Pebble Beach, St. Andrews, like courses you would actually want to play if you have a simulator. And then on top of that, you know, the original Mevo Plus came out in 2020. We're now four years on and they're still continuing to roll out cool features for it. So I love that. They, they, they didn't just let it die on the vine or roll out something new that you then had to spend more money on. They've, they've actually improved their product over time. Exactly. So they've got environmental optimization, which basically if you're going to go play around in Hawaii and it's like completely different conditions from where you're at in Florida, you can go in and you can plug in the exact place that you are going and it will calculate all the data based on the temperature there, based on the wind there, based on the altitude, all of these things. And so you can really start preparing for when you're traveling for golf. I love it. To go along with that, they have a trip planner where it will then take even more data and you can go hole by hole on a particular golf course and see how all of those parameters are going to affect. So it's like if you're going ready to go play a tournament somewhere, you can essentially have your entire game plan ready for you based on the data that's been customized from your particular you know, launch statistics. Right. And so it's just cool to see them evolve, it's cool to see them continue to iterate on the Vivo Plus. And I'm just really impressed with everything that they're doing. Absolutely, and there's some other amazing features about the FlightScope that Sean didn't mention that make it incredible as well, but you gotta find that on Sean's channel. So again, make sure you subscribe to Sean. Breaking 80 is the show. If you haven't seen it, you better go watch it. And uh, we'll have some more fun here, Sean, in the PGA show. Thanks, Dude, for, thanks, thanks for golf people. Here. We're just mere <laughs> mortals here just trying to do our own thing. But I love it. I appreciate you having me.